We're sitting right now in one of two state-of-the-art recording rooms. This is a control room. We primarily use it for mixing. We have two live rooms over in here that are fully tied into this room. And then we have another control room, which we can also mix in, but we really built that to track. And that's got an analog API console. Right now, the studio is set up in a pretty traditional sort of rock band format. We sort of run the gamut from uh, traditional orchestral setups that we've had in this room. The way our group is supported by Sony and the development teams here is that nothing's ever really off limits. So creativity is kind of placed above all else. We work with an extremely wide spectrum of talent. We pull the talent from the film industry, from the record industry, from the TV industry, and of course, from the video game industry. Having in-house facilities like this and of this caliber allows us to bring artists and composers and players here to collaborate, to innovate, and really to create music that they couldn't have created on their own. Our team's been working hand-in-hand uh, -hand with Sucker Punch uh, as their music service group since the first Infamous. One of the greatest things about that relationship is that it's extremely collaborative. Having the music have a personality, I think, has been really important to Sucker Punch, and our team has really tried to hold on to that. Infamous Second Son was a bit of a departure compared to past Infamous games where the locale was really what determined kind of the direction of the musical score. And this time we let Delson's personality and his character really define the musical score. The actual music production itself was an iterative process. So even though we went into it with a style in mind, it was a style that we didn't feel like really existed. We knew that Delson, the main character, was going to be the focus of our musical style. And you can really hear like a totally destroyed guitar and a beautiful cello in the same piece of music. And getting those things to work together was really a, a challenge and a lot of fun. Creating this kind of industrial, edgy music with nothing but live, organic sounds created by humans was a, a real challenge and a real fun aspect of the project. Infamous Second Son is a great example of how we really utilize these facilities to do something that we couldn't have done without them. And that score promises to be one of the most dynamic and exciting scores we've ever produced. PlayStation.